it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. And today is the first video on Wagner Wednesdays. That's right, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't know what I'm doing, but like... <laughs> I'm too obsessed with TikTok. This is sad. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be reviewing for you guys Fenty Beauty's cream blush and bronzers now i know you guys are going to be excited for this because who isn't excited about new fenty products i am these is what they look like this is the packaging so freaking cute i go more into detail in that in a little bit but if you are new here hi i am gina and today is our first week of wagner wednesdays that means that I am posting makeup videos mostly on Wednesdays and only Wednesdays and sometimes Saturdays, but Saturdays are my more fun videos. Like last Saturday was just me chit-chatting, showing you guys what I got for my VIB Rouge sale haul. Um, also showing you guys how to deal with Sephora when they have an order mix up or you're missing an order because that has happened to me. And Animal Crossing because I love Animal Crossing. I just love me some Animal Crossing, so. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out or go check out any of my other videos after. And my social medias are linked down below because that's where I post polls on Instagram is my main one that I want you guys to follow. I think you guys would really like that one. I also post pictures on there. I've got a cute, I'm going to maybe try to make an aesthetic, like an, a, what's the word I'm looking for? A cute Instagram. That's what I'm going to try to do. And without further ado, let's get right on into this review. So, like I mentioned in the intro in today's video, we are going to be reviewing these two bad boys. They're a Fenty Beauty product, and if you guys don't know, I have a hard time with Fenty Beauty products. Her brand and I, Brianna, her brand and I, we don't go together because I tried using her very first foundation when it first came out, broke out from it because of all the silicone that's in it, and it's also matte before I found out that matte foundation is not good for dry skin, so that was also on me, but like a lot of the silicone, me and my skin don't like it. Uh, her primer, me and my skin don't like it. Her first primer she came out with. Lip glosses though, are the freaking bomb, they're awesome. The other thing I do really like from her is her bronzer, so this is her powder bronzer. I rave about this, I really do love this. I'm probably gonna get this in my summer shade whenever I can start tanning, whether it's outside or in a place, we don't know, we will know for a while. So today we are going to be reviewing the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer and we're also going to be doing the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. Now I already have an issue with this blush because this was $20 and it gives you 10 ounces or 0 0.10, 0 0.1 ounces of um, product. It is very tiny. It's literally the size, almost near the size of my travel size of my Dream Rush blush by Benefit. So when I originally bought this, I thought it was gonna be the same size as this one, which is the cream bronzer. The cream bronzer is $30, the cream blush is 30. I honestly was not really paying attention to prices when I bought it, I just bought it because I was like, oh, gotta get it before it sells out, also because of the sale kind of deal, you know? But I saw this on Nicole Concilio's website for her video, not her website, I saw it on her YouTube channel for her video of the cream bronzers and blushes and I saw the size and I was like, are you kidding me? That's the size I'm given? This, I will show you, I will open the box and we'll show you what it physically looks like. I need to get something to open it though because I got nubs for fingernails. So I'm gonna open this the best I can. But first off, her packaging is insanely gorgeous. This packaging is basically the same for every product. It just changes the name almost on what's on it. So this is what the bronzer packaging looks like. It's very gorgeous, sleek, and beautiful. And this is what this one looks like. So since I'm showing you the blush first, the back of it literally says, a fresh wash of color, effortless blending, lightest air, sweet resistance. All right, that's cool. And the shade I got is Petal Poppin'. I got that because it's a lighter one. I also saw one, it's Strawberry Dip is one I really do want, but this is what it looks like. So I will show you the packaging. It is this tiny. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. It's very tiny. 
This is the octagon shape, which she's very known for, obviously. This is the octagon shape as well. But it's just so little. Now, I have seen that people have been having issues of things being in there, like, from the packaging. But mine looks fine, other than this, like, weird spot right here that's on. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it just looks like an area that sweated a little bit and then it stopped. So it looks fine to me, but it comes with a little mirror protector, which is sick. So this is what she looks like. It's very tiny. It comes with this little tiny mirror that literally is going to be impossible for you to use because you're like shaking with it. So very cute packaging though for the white with the, um, what do you call this? Like a chrome on the inside. Next we have the bronzer. The bronzer says a fresh bronze glow, easy to blend, light as air, a sweet resistance. I got the bronzer in the butter biscuit one because your girl's pale right now and I don't need to be getting the one for me to be tan because I can't tan. I can't even self tan right now because of my dry skin. I need to find an exfoliator for my skin. So if you know an exfoliator for my skin, please put it down in the comment section down below and let me know. So this is the cream bronzer packaging. And this is compared to this one. Look at this. Uh the size that still just annoys me that you get 0.1 ounces in this and in this one you get 0.2 ounces. One ounce more and you get a bigger thing. I do like that the packaging is a gold chrome and then the cream is white where this one is the white and then the, cr uh, the cream is the chrome and they both say cream and Fenty Beauty on them. So let's open her up and this is what she looks like now I do have this black spot like right in this area it's so hard to pick up and where to point it's right here on it it's like very you can't really see it but I'm telling you that it's there but that is honestly from the packaging on the inside so that does not bother me because it's completely fine and there's like a little hair like in this area like right there it's so hard to see but again, it's fine. I've seen other people say that they have and it's the packaging, so I'm not going to be too worried about it at all. It has the protective. Now, this is a mirror that I am going to be using. This is literally the same size of her regular bronzer, and I like how it's the same color packaging as it. I really do. So, we're going to put this to the test to see if I actually really do like it. We are going to swatch it on the back of my hand first before I put on my face with makeup. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into it because if not, I'm gonna be blabbling, babbling, blabbling, babbling forever. So grab a drink. Take a sip if you've been talking as long as me. I love my little side pony action I got going on. I'm a mess. I've been a mess. All right, so this is a petal pop and this is what it looks like. I really do think this is gorgeous. I'm a sucker for cream blushes now. You guys know I've been using the ColourPop one and Cool It, the blush sticks. So this is what it looks like. It feels super creamy. It really does. And we're going to apply this on our hand. Like so. Ooh. I like that. It kind of turns into a... Almost kind of like a cheek stain kind of. This is what it looks like. Now, I blended it with my finger because it's very uh, light. That's the reason why I got it. It's a very light one. So I'll show it to you guys by just doing like a swatch of it. But that is what she looks like just as a swatch. This is it blended out more. And she's super gorgeous. Like I do like this. And it also seems like it dries down as a powder, which I really, 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 really do like. Forgot makeup wipes. So we're going to steal my mom's. Thanks, mom. Right. So then I'm gonna do her cream blush, cream blush, cream bronzer next. Now I've been a sucker for a bronzer, but I want to see how this finishes because I'm looking for one that doesn't really finish as a powder. Because I hate putting powders on top of powders; it's a pain. But oh, this is just as creamy. This is what it looks like. It is for pale girls, All right? Oh, 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 that's a little, a little dark. It's okay. It's okay. I think this is gonna work. We'll try it, but I think it'll work with this paired. Cause this, if you were to open them, they are pretty similar. 
I need a nail salon, dude. Like, my nails are nubs, and I can't do anything with them. They're pretty much the same color. They look like my powder bronzer and my regular bronzer. This one's just a little bit more warmer. So this should work, and it should be really good. See, now that it's been blended out, it doesn't look as bad. So, I'm so far a fan of them being on my freaking skin of my hand so now i am going to put on a full face of makeup well not really a full face but i'm going to put on the base of my makeup off camera because you guys have seen me do it a million freaking times you don't need to see me do it again so i'm going to do that and then i'll come back when it comes on to trying these bad boys my foundation and concealer is on don't mind my brows i'm trying to grow out these little hairs are in that weird stage okay just let me let me struggle right now all right, so since this is a cream bronzer, we did not put any cream blush. I mean cream blush. We didn't put any setting powder on because that would be a no-no as much as I hate not having setting powder on my face. But cream rolls kind of sucks. So I've seen people take more of like a kombuki brush with it. I don't have like a flat edge brush for it. The only one I do have is for the nose, but I don't have one on its own. So we're going to go in with this Tarte kombuki brush. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's coral cute so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to dab now we're gonna swirl our brush in but we're gonna make sure that our brush evenly gets it on so i'm trying to put it all over the brush you know what i mean and here it goes we're going to apply it like so And then this is what it's like. And then I want to take my beauty blender and blend it in. Ho ho. All right, so it's a little light, so we're obviously gonna have to go with it a little bit more. I might need to get a new brush. Oh, here we go. Yeah, pack it in, people. This is what we're doing. We're packing it. So we're going to apply this all over my forehead and I don't know how long it takes for this to dry down so we're gonna take the cream beauty blender not the I keep saying cream everything now that's great and we're going to blend this in with a beauty blender I'm using the side of the beauty blender because the top has concealer on it the bottom of it has foundation on it and guys the bronzer so far I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. It's coming out completely different than I thought it would on camera. This is also for like cream contour as well. Your girl's using it as a bronzer, so we're going over here, and this is where I struggle to do my makeup because it's my right side. I'm really good on my left. I don't know why. Why did I just tap off? Did you hear that? I went. Honey, there's nothing to tap off. It's a cream. Now, I know it looks a little rough right now on this side, but we're going to... It showed to blend good, so that's why I wanted to put on a little bit more and blend it. I'm getting it stuck in my hair. Oh, jeez. Why is it not blending like this side? We're using the foundation side. But this is gorgeous, even if you blend it to be a minuscule shade like I did. I'm absolutely loving it. It's also kind of turning into a powder. I can tell that it's kind of going into a powder because there's parts of my foundation now that are getting, like, spotty. But we'll fix that. Because this is not damp, though, but I don't know how else you would want me to blend it. You know what I'm trying to say? Like... If I physically like go up and look at the camera, but I can tell that there's something going on with certain areas, if that makes sense. It doesn't look horrible, but it's just, I gotta like look at this one and then behind you guys because it gives me like a different look of it. It's just over here looks Weird. Like, this whole area always looks weird on bronzer on me, so I'm not going to be too deep on it. But before I put any bronzer on, I want to do the blush because it's a cream product. And then we'll see... No. We... Yeah, and then we'll see how it goes because I like to do 
um, this and then put setting powder on top of it before I put my stuff on. So we have this. This is our blush. Remember, it's in petal poppin'. I'm gonna be taking the brush that I apply it with. So this is just a Tarte brush from the Mermaid Collection. It is no longer sold, but this is the brush I like to use. It's just one that looks like this. So we're applying it and I'm going to brush it on. Ooh, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely using the wrong brush for this, but. But I love the blush. I love it. Okay, this, I know this looks crazy. I know this looks crazy. We're taking our beauty blender and blending it. When in doubt, beauty blender it out. Okay, it's a model to look by. also just put it way too down we will fix it so I am also going to be taking this bronzer <laughs> look nuts right now I promise this will get better and we're gonna try it that's not the cream bronzer that's my that's my powder one so we're taking the cream one we're gonna take my brush that I use for contouring my nose and we're gonna try it okay I'm gonna blend this out that might have went so south Okay, that didn't go horrible, but we're gonna push it up in the air. <laughs> I'll fix it. So I am going to do my cream. Oh my goodness, I keep saying cream. I'm gonna be doing my setting powder off camera. Actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna do it on camera. We're gonna see how it sets. So I use my handy dandy hourglass setting powder. You guys know that, but I'm trying out a new brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH01 brush. She's up. She's a big girl. And what I do is I literally will just set my whole freaking face with this. Holy crap. This feels good, but also just kind of feels flimsy in a way because it's so big. It's not horrible. Okay, so this is what I like to do. I like to put my setting powder over everything. I just do. That's how I like to do things. So now we're going to set our powders on top. And we're going to see how they look with powders on top. If I keep saying that over and over again. So. We're going to start off with our blush. I have to grab my blush. So I got to lift you. So the blush we're going into today is... Um, Catch My Vibe by ColourPop. This is in the Making Moss collection. So we are going to, I'm going to wipe this off with my beauty. Oh my goodness, why can't I talk? This is a makeup wipe. Get your ish together today, Gina. I swear, honey. Roll around in our hand. Let it dry. We're going to take some of this blush. And we're just going to apply it. This brush is this blush. Lord help us today is pretty light. Holy bejeebus. Okay. Well, it is normally light, but your girl went out with a heavy hand with it today. So I'm going to use this brush. This brush, let me tell you, is doing the job. I need my bronzer blush. Brush. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have our bronzer brush. And the brush I've been using is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. And now we're going in with our... Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer in Inda Sun. So this is what we're going to open. I should have just kept this open because it's packaging. Ha ha, got it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've been loving this so much. So we are going to apply it. Ooh, ooh, my cheeks are so freaking pink. I put way too much on. Way too much on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look nuts what is wrong with me why am i like being i can't oh this is what happens when you don't apply makeup in a long time you struggle like i have not worn a pink cup in so long i think since easter and i just wore that literally just around my house just to wear you know what we're pale we're bronzing everything because 
You can. So, <laughs> we're just gonna use this big boy, I guess. To blend everything. I'm gonna take me, I'm gonna take a beauty blender this face. I, this face. <laughs> I should. It fix my life. Okay, now, I just need to fix up this area. It's so bronzy at the bottom. Also, what is this hair doing? Oh my goodness. We're, we just went, we're a train wreck right now. Full on. Freaking train wreck. I mean, hey, that's just what it's gonna do. So, so far I'm seeing that the bronzer and blush are hold, 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 are holding up very well underneath powders and such, so I really do like that. I'm going to spray my face now that I have all my stuff on it. And we're gonna do a lot because why not? Your girl needs the just inhaled it. I never got a fan. So we're using our hands. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my face off camera and then I will be right back to tell you guys my final thoughts. All right, so I am back. I also used another new product and I didn't even think to mention it, but this is the Makeup Forever um, professional artist color pencil in the shade Boundless Bisque and this is the nude one and I am obsessed with it and this is what it's like in my waterline like mm, I've been looking for a nude one I for at first I thought I was gonna have to buy a Charlotte Tilbury one Hi, it's so expensive for a freaking eyeliner but this came back in stock so I didn't have to so like I said I finished my full face of makeup and the verdicts in that these are Fenty Beauty products that I actually really do like and I am thinking about getting another cream blush for when I, I am darker in the summertime, so like a darker one to get. So I really thought I wasn't gonna actually like it, but I do. Good thing and a bad thing, bad for my wallet, good for you guys who want it and good for me because I like it. So, the main thing I think I'm gonna try to figure out though is how to apply it. Like what kind of brush do I wanna use with it? Like what do I wanna use to apply it with? Because that is the one thing I am unsure of of what to use. And my one baby hair is a mess. So that's the only thing I am unsure of of what to use is how to apply it. But other than that, I would highly recommend my lips are so freaking dry with makeup. It is ridiculous. I really do like them. Like I said, the cream blush though is $20 for this size. I kind of wish that it was a little bit cheaper, like maybe 18 even, 15 I can see, but the price, the 20 for some reason it's just hitting me, even though I'll pay $20 for like probably any of the other little samples, but because they're travel size I will, but for this one, this is a full on size, or Fenty come out with it as a big size and I'll pay the 30 bucks for it, no big deal kind of deal that's what I like um it came out really good I do like it it feels more of now that's on my skin it didn't turn powdery like my face doesn't look powdery at all which is what I like because when I use the benefit one it does turn out powdery so the verdict is and these are approved 110% I don't know what they're approved of I never even said that before but these are actually pretty good I really do like them I would highly recommend them actually and while the sale is still going on if you you might still have the sale for another day or two I don't know because this is Wednesday I honestly don't know also if you stayed this long it's my birthday tomorrow so that is awesome so I'll be at 22 but I wanted to throw that in there just in case anyone's still watching <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end of today's video. Like I said, these two cream products by Fenty are approved and I will probably be getting the cream bronzer in my shade for the summertime and I will probably get another cream blush as well because I really did like it and I want a darker one because this one is kind of light, which is fine. That's what I wanted to try it out. 
And I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Click that notification bell so you know every time that I upload a video. And hit that subscribe button and join the fam because I would love to have you. Our goal is still to hit 2,000 subscribers. And we will reach there one day. And I want you guys to be a part of it because it has been a fun journey with you guys. And I want to keep showing you guys my makeup journey and my other journeys that I'll be showing you on Saturdays. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Wednesdays are Wagner Wednesdays and those are makeup videos and Saturdays are whatever videos I felt like filming that week and there might be a hodgepodge. It just might be whatever I want it to be or ideas you guys give me in the comment section down below. So without that being, with all that being said, I will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys!